Hello there, Cancers. Welcome to your tarot reading. So um, I'm going to relay some messages for you guys that came out while I was shuffling. And then we're going to shuffle out the spread for um, the May reading. Okay. Um, the first message that I have here is um, they mentioned like after a period of hopping around, some of you are now settling down. Okay. And um, I feel like this message for some of you applies to love relationships. Okay, so it, it's it's almost like you you were hopping around, you know, like dating multiple people, and this is the month in which you realize that you know what all relationships require a lot of work, a lot of hard work, in order to make things work. Okay, so you might have met a few people that you realize, oh, this one is you know not really jiving with me. This one is not too compatible with me, while this other one is uh, too rambunctious for me, and so forth. And then in through that period of dating, of social experimentation, you might realize that, you know what, we're all people, we all have flaws. So all relationship partners require work. And then others of you, this is playing out in your work situation. I feel like for some of you, you might have uh, wanted, you know, to do things in a very non-traditional way. So that means um, wanting, like, like feeling somehow I'm getting this energy feeling somehow that you're not cut out for the traditional nine to five. And that's perfectly fine. That's perfectly fine. Some of us have different skill sets and we're not cut out for the traditional, you know, um, the traditional work routine. But I feel for some of you, it's, it's not so much that, you know, not wanting to do the nine to five. But it's more like you want to cut corners. That's what it feels like to me. And you might have thought about, you know, get rich quick um, schemes. You might have, you know, dabbled in a few things. You might have done things in a very non-traditional way. And other people have warned you against doing that. And you might realize this is the month where you might need to leave that um, behind and seek employment or seek relationships and really work hard at your work situation to make it the best that you that it can be or really work hard at your relationships to make it the best that it can be okay to bring some potential to it and so the period of hopping around and you know social experimentation i feel like it might not be appropriate anymore coming into this month and depending on where you are and i feel like a lot of you that are watching this are on the older end, such as, you know, like, um, I would say 37 and above. And you have, you know, long term um, stability to worry about. Okay, so, you, you, so you, I feel like you are kind of like, a little bit worried right now about, you know, you're worried about retirement. Um, you're, you're worried about stability in your household. You're worried, concerned whether or not the people you love will have will be taken care of when you're no longer in the picture. So I feel like you're worried and concerned about big, big picture things. And as a result of that, it's really important for you to, you know, settle down. It's really important. You feel like, you know, the, the it's crunch time pretty much. And so my advice here is I feel that things surely will settle down and it's going to take some time. Okay. But cutting corners is not going to be good for you do things by the book, obey, you know, uh, social order, social structure, hierarchy, etc. And in any environment, I feel like seniority uh, plays a really important role, especially for this month. So try not to skirt issues, try not to cut corners, and really work at things, okay, in order to have the life that you want, and to have the relationship even that you want. So that's very important. Um, so going back to that last message about, you know, uh, seeing the bigger picture, seeing like the end in sight and what you want your life to look like. I'm sensing right now, a lot of you emotionally, you're, you're not feeling too hot right now. And what I mean by that is, um, I feel generally that like, um, when you have a relationship partner, right, you, you get very attached to them and there's nothing wrong with that. You know, it's, um, it's just a nature of a water sign. And even if you, so let's just say, you know, when you have a relationship partner, uh, you want to spend a lot of time with them. You want them to be around. You want to, you know, nurture and just uh, really be there for your partner and vice versa. You want your partner to be there for you as well. And so I'm feeling that some of you are in relationships here 
where the other person is very loving, very, very giving towards you, right? Like they, they really, you know, put you on a pedestal and they really like hype about you. They, they talk about you so much through, to their friends, to their family. They're very proud of being in your presence. And so I feel overall that because, because um, of, of this energy, um, you're not really sure like whether or not. So I, I feel like some of you are staying in the relationship because the other person you know really, really cares about you, really, really digs you, really loves you. While you might not feel the same way. You might not be able to reciprocate. You might not be able to, you know, love them to the same extent, but you stay in the relationship because I feel like it's, it's safe. It's stable. It's very content. It reminds me of the Scorpio reading. So if for whatever reason you're dealing with a Scorpio and especially if it's a romantic partner, it the energy is very similar to a Scorpio reading. Whereas you feel like you might not be able to reciprocate, but at least it's a safe choice. Okay, so a lot of you are are stagnating in a relationship because it's the, the safe thing to do. And then I feel like for others of you, you have so much love and support from the other partner. But there might be an element of distance between you and them, like overseas or, you know, both of you or you are traveling a lot. So you're not able to spend a lot of quality time with each other. And you find yourself kind of like grown apart and you find the relationship very demanding, mainly because, you know, of all the travel, of all the obligations, of all the, the, um, you know, like it, it's, it's almost like they need a lot more from you or you need a lot more from them. That's, and at this present moment in time, especially in the May time frame, it might, uh, dawn upon the two of you that the relationship demands a lot more from both people. So you might, you know, figure out like, how do we do this? Where do we go from here? Do we take turns seeing each other so that everything is, is fair? Or how is it going to work? How is that going to look like? So I feel like a lot of these things are going to be hashed out regarding, you know, if one person has been doing all the work, then I feel that, you know, things will be hashed out. You will be able to communicate with your partner and arrive at some type of a compromise. So then both parties can contribute equally to the relationship. Okay, so that's what I feel. Um, I do feel as well, this is the month in which some of you, um, might get a little bit of a leg up in the work environment. Okay. So I feel like overall, this is a card about it's, it's very good karma coming home to roost. Okay. So somebody might be in your, um, alley, like, um, you know, uh, vouching for you, uh, saying good things about you, giving you a very, uh, great performance review, for example. And I also feel that you're, they're going to be in a position to give you a leg up. So letter recommendation, reference, um, providing a reference for you, providing, you know, just some good words coming your way so that if you are looking for work, for example, you, you get a leg up in that interview process. You get a leg up when it comes to, you know, negotiating for salary or even, you know, landing a new job. So I do feel things are looking good for you because you have somebody helping behind the scenes to move things along. So there's an act of generosity that will allow you to increase your financial situation via new job that you can attain or you know getting like a pay increase or getting something like a leg up in the work environment okay so it's looking good finances will be really good I feel like the beginning of la this year like the first two months and also the last six months of 2016 finances has been very rocky for a lot of you it's it's like for some of you it's not like you're in dire strait but it feels like from one month to the next things fluctuate greatly so you can't really budget and then for others, it was just, you know, odd jobs here and there, very strong, unstable, like fluctuations in your finances. And I feel like this is the month in which things will start to stabilize for you. Okay. Things will really, really solidify and, um, well, contingent upon us making smart decisions. Right. But I feel that you're getting a lot of help. You're getting a lot of assistance for those of you who are um, thinking about moving homes, releasing property, buying new property. This is not a good month to buy. I don't advise it. Okay. It's not a good month to buy. It's a good month to sell. It's a good month to, you know, if you have last minute things that you need to fix up in your house, if you're even renting and you're trying to release the um, apartment and rent something else, that's fine. But I feel like there's some fixing up 
that needs to, to happen here before you can get a praise and before you can even, um, you know, release the property, like liquidate. Okay. So I feel that a lot of you will be changing location. A lot of you will be releasing property. And I feel that you're talking to some financial consultants about, you know, your financial planning, your uh, future. I feel some of you are talking to attorneys. Um, if you have like, um, a partner that you share property with that you might have been married to I feel that you are consulting you know some type of legal advisor in order for you to extract yourself and to come away from this cleanly so I feel that I see people sending out a lot of paperwork like um, making multiple copies of something filling out very detailed minute um, like data um, I see, you know, social security numbers. I feel like these are very strong, like uh, either applying for loans, applying for loans, applying for new jobs or applying for something that is through an official, you know, a very official body. OK, a very official like institution. And I feel some of you might need to put something down for collateral, some big ticket item, possibly a house, possibly like a. Um, a property or you know like a plot of land or even just something very big for collateral because you're trying to take out a loan but um, either way I don't think this is a good month overall okay for buying new property it's a good month for releasing new property and I feel that if you are consulting somebody to extract yourself you're gonna be successful because I feel that the the odds are uh, in your favor okay I, I do sense that overall um, what I do feel as well, and um, I'm getting this message here about, you know, you really know what you need to do. Okay, so if people are telling you, people in your household environment, people who are in your social circle, you should do this, you should do that. And if they're feeding you things that they feel you should do with your life, and uh, no matter how high, um, you know, no matter how you regard them. So even if you respect them, you need to really trust yourself and to really understand that this is your life and you need to do what's appropriate for you. And rather than, you know, succumbing to social expectations or succumbing to what people tell you you should do. OK, so what is socially acceptable for other people might not uh, fly for you this month. Uh, cancer so be very careful like this is a card about you know knowing deep down what we want what we need what we have to do to make ourselves emotionally happy and satisfied okay so you know what you need to do and so all these external expectations coming through from other people they're just you know echoes in uh in the periphery of your life they should not have any bearing on you know the decisions that you're making in the work environment so if you have been jumping around um, at a few jobs, right, and you finally found a job where uh, somebody might have put in a good word for you and then you got hired that, at that job and you're trying to, you know, um, prove yourself, you're trying to let them know that, you know, yes, I name drop in order to get in, but I'm going to work to the best of my capabilities. I feel that's the right way to go. Keep your head low. Don't um, get too involved in office politics with coworkers and, and things like that. Just keep your head low, lay low. And uh, I feel that the work is going to pan out really tremendously well. I do feel you're going to start to accrue, accumulate quite a bit of wealth and, you know, um, disposable income for yourself. OK, so in that regards, I do sense that it looks very good. But overall, I feel like some of you are trying to restart your life, restart your life by stabilizing your financial situation, consulting lawyers to extract yourself from some type of an agreement like a marriage or even like an engagement or even some child custody issues. And I do sense that on the one hand, um, your living situation, you're still trying to figure out what to do, how to stabilize that, but options will be made available for you. This is coming through. I feel like in about three months time, we are in May. So that's going to be in the August time frame. Okay. So I feel like in, in about three months time, get the work situation sorted out the the housing situation yes it's important but you need money above all else to do other things okay so think of it as this is what you need to focus on right now and especially for the next three months and then the housing situation it will resolve itself and things will be okay all right so small steps cancer small steps don't um get ahead of yourself okay and i honestly feel that
this is a card really about spiritual guidance okay like um getting a lot of um psychic energies getting a lot of assistance from other people um and a lot of the times too some of us we feel like oh we're so lucky because you know we have so much help from other people when we want to better ourselves when we want to do the right thing and when we are adamant about what we need to do in order to move our lives forward that basically allows you to get in touch with source energy which will allow you to attract people that will want to help you along the way that can give you guidance you know they can be perfect strangers they don't have to be people that you know but i feel that you might have noticed um you know last month and then this month things are not so difficult anymore as it was you know last year and the first three months of this year you're going to start to realize that you're coming across people that actually have a lot to offer and that they want to help you. OK, and it's mainly because your mind, uh, your mindset has shifted. You're trying to better yourself and you have real motivation, not just for self betterment, but, you know, you want to, to be um, a more well-rounded person. You want to be a more well-developed person. And I feel that the people that are coming through really want to help you. OK, and they're they're there because they're divinely guided to come into your life to provide the support that you need in this transitional period in your life. OK, so I feel things are going to be OK. Um, cancer, so just hang in there. OK, things will be really good for you. Um, I feel as well, you know, travel, a little bit of travel, talks about travel and things like that coming through. Um, I feel that there there are like conflicting um, demands. So some of you might have like engagements with, you know, to travel with friends, with lovers, and then others of you, uh, family wants to come see you. So there's a conflict of interest when it comes to timing, when it comes to who you want to travel with and where you want to travel to, as it relates to, you know, like um, you might want to, you may have already planned something with a lover, and then your family happens to want to be in town that weekend, you know, so there's that uh, logistical hurdle that you need to really sort out. OK, so that's pertaining to those who are thinking about travel and such. And I honestly feel that the work situation is a little bit too busy to allow you to fully travel and take the vacation days necessary in order to travel. OK, so let's see what's in store for you guys for love, relationships, romance. So once again, um, you know, going back to that initial message that I mentioned, some of you have been, you know, like um, running around and I, I feel like I, I don't feel like you're being deceitful or anything like that. But I feel like you're you're playing the field like, you know, you're dating multiple people and then you realize that, you know what, relationships are a lot of work. So I'm, I'm feeling that and I'm feeling like at this present moment you have options, but you need to make a decision here about which relationship you need to go with. And I feel honestly, um, it, it's not that you shy away from commitment or you shy away from hard work. It's just a lot of you are very, very idealistic and you want a specific relationship to be a very specific way. So you think that like relationship, it's a meeting of, you know, two people that are kindred spirits. And when they're kindred spirits, things should be easy. Things should be automatic. Things should, you know, just flow. Right. And yes, physically and emotionally, things should flow. But with every relationship, it requires give and take. It's a two way street and it requires work. OK, so some of you might be learning that lesson and um, you might be on the younger spectrum, you know, um, watching this and you are learning this lesson that they all require a lot of work. And if you want a specific outcome from your relationships, you might need to invest, you know, a lot of time in. And I apologize for the dogs barking in the background. Um, it's nighttime and there are a lot of cats that pass outside of the window and they just bark and bark and bark. So let's see here. Okay, so here's just, um, first of all, financially, I feel like a lot of you are in a very good space and you want to take a relationship to the next level. So I feel like, you know, the past few years have been all about wealth accumulation. Um, so we have here the nine of pentacles and the nine of pentacles. Some of you might even be freelancing, uh, self-employed. Okay. 
and you also have like the regular nine to five. So we have here the ten of pentacles, which is the apex of um, financial achievement. So I feel that financially things are really, really good. Um, your basically your pockets are lined with money, and uh, you are professionally very, very stable right now. And as a result of it, as a result of all this wealth, as a result of professional recognition, as a result of feeling as if you have succeeded, I do feel at this point, a lot of you are shifting gears to really focusing on your relationship and trying to, you know, figure out who's going to be a good partner for you and trying to figure out like if you're ready to take a relationship to the next level. I feel that some of you are involved here with a fire sign. So this is a Sagittarius, an Aries, or a Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. And I feel like this person is somebody who is also very, very financially stable, okay? So I'm seeing the energy of a power couple here. Both people, both parties are very financially lucrative. Um, they're very um, self-independent, like independent, very self-sufficient. And I feel like this is somebody that has a little bit of a jealous streak, okay? When... She, she or he is upset. They don't always, you know, want to verbalize why they're upset. They, I feel like they sulk a little bit, which is unusual for a fire sign. This is somebody who's very feisty, who has a little bit of a jealous streak. And I do feel that you want to take things to the next level. You want to solidify your relationship with this person. What I'm also feeling as well is um, I see a lot of work, career, public image things getting in the way of having the relationship that you want. So on the one hand, work is going really well. Your public image is, you know, you're, you're getting very positive reception overall. And so you don't know if you should, you know, like continue pursuing your public image and especially continue like dating around some more before you commit to a person. But I feel that a lot of in the past too, I feel some of you in a very, very public environment. Like if you're, if you're um, in the limelight for your work, some things that have happened in your past, past relationships, um, especially like, um, you know, infidelities and things like that might be coming up through gossips, through the grapevine to really hurt your professional image. So be very, very careful about that, okay? I feel that's a very small minority of you. If you are in the public, um, in the public sphere, try to minimize, you know, social media, try to, um, usage of social media, advertising so much of what you're doing on social media, because, um, I'm sensing that, you know, there's some, some, I feel like some dubious, they're, they're saying like some questionable things about relationships coming back from the past. And I feel that um, somebody is kept in the dark and I feel like this is the month in which, you know, light will be shown upon that. Okay. So just be very careful about social media. Be very careful if you are using show, social media in every way, um, like even to, if you have a professional like account, make sure that it is completely separate from your personal account because I feel like that's coming through. Okay. Or if it hasn't come through, I feel like that has come, come through. If it hasn't come through in the past, it's going to be coming through for this month. I feel like for some of you, this is something that you are already doing damage control on and you're vowing not to let it happen again, but I feel like it might affect your public image, your credibility. Okay. So just be very careful. Um, overall, so we have here a very strong fire sign and I feel that you want to take the relationships to the next level with this person or this person is really adamant about keeping you in their lives and wanting to have something a little bit more exclusive with them. I feel that the fire sign is making a little bit more demands on you. So there's a lot of like late nights staying up wanting to communicate and I feel like they are, they have a, a jealous streak about them. I, I do sense that with this person. So on the one hand, you know, like the, the excitement, the relationship is very exciting there's a lot of excitement a lot of chemistry and a lot of stability because you know this person really cares about you but on the other hand um i do feel like temper tantrums flying and i do feel as well um that person might be um i i feel like 
when they're upset, they need you to be there to walk them through it. And it might take a long time and you have other obligations, other work um, responsibilities that you need to do. So it's turning out to be a lot of work. And, you know, you, you might realize that all relationships are a lot of work and whether or not this is going to be worth it for you. So I feel that some of you are trying your very hardest to appease this person because you really care about this person. And then I feel for others of you, there is some type of um, family situation, um, whether you have a family together with another person like a partner or whether there are children in the picture here, there's going to be some decision process, some, some uh, decision making processes concerning a child and concerning whether or not the family situation is still um, the best option for the child. So I feel like, you know, child support coming through. And I feel as well news information regarding a child uh, um, as it relates to, you know, a person that you've had a relationship with in the past. You might have a child with them. And I feel like they're, you're at an impasse here as to, you know, uh, in terms of like child custody agreement. So we have here the judgment card and the judgment card deals with communication. And this is communication where you're not really sure what to believe. So I feel like your family members might be telling you, here's what's happening with the child or here's what ha what's happening with your ex. And you're not really sure you're not really like you have already moved on. You have already moved on. You have already, you know, turned your back on that person. But if it's related to a child, you don't really know what to believe and you don't really know like what to do in that situation. So I feel like there's going to be some um, requirement of like financial assistance coming through. And it's linked up here with family and it's linked up here with a child, okay? So I'm really sorry, you guys. They're overly active today. And so I, I feel like a lot of you are coming into this month already in a relationship and wanting to take a uh, with a partner that really wants you to take a relationship to the next level. I feel like I'm not getting, you know, like other areas here. So... I also see this as well. You might have a new job coming into the picture and you and your partner might be separated. If you take the job, there might be that sense of geographical distance between the two of you. And you're not really sure what you should do as a couple. Like, do you move together? Do you move first? Do they move after? Are they willing to leave their life uh, behind or, you know, put their life on hold in order to make this move with you? So a lot of important questions need to be hashed out for this month in terms of your love life and you know specifically where you both are going to be living and whether like how to take the relationship to the next level and what you should do to maintain the relationship okay so we have here two cards that are very very polar opposites we have here the ten of cups which basically means that you know whatever hard work that you put into whatever hard work you put into your relationship no matter like how much work it requires i feel that you've got somebody who's very solid especially a fire sign okay so sagittarius aries or leo and it can work out okay so i feel that it's worth looking into to fix that relationship to take that relationship to the next level even though there might be that sense of geographical distance between the two of you i feel that is worthwhile and we also have situations where i feel like if it's concerning like child support if it's if it's concerning like an ex-partner and a spouse or like a child i do sense as well there is some type of communication breakdown you're not really sure what to do with the information when it comes in but i do sense that right now financially things are really good for you and i feel that whatever assistance you can lend to another person it's always going to be good for you okay to release and and you know provide that helping hand okay so I'm going to leave it uh, here, Cancers, and I apologize for the incessant barking in the back, okay? Um, I do wish you guys the best for this month, and, you know, take care of yourself, and I'll be back for the mid-month reading. Bye-bye.